Hey guys, let's take a moment to talk about One and One. One and One is a hosting company that I have actually endorsed several times because I earned a commission. But, uh, <laughs> I'll be honest. Um, I've used them for a little over four years now um, to host my websites. And for the most part, I can't complain. Um, domain registrations are pretty cheap. They actually had a deal there where they were registering domains for $0.99 cent a year. I bought about five. <laughs> uh, but that was just for the first year. And after that year, they go up to like $10. And I'll probably just let them expire at that point. But on to the point. I use them to host my domains. And it was... Um, it worked pretty well for the past four years. I've, I've, you know, I've switched packages here and there, taken the best offer whenever one came up. But um, I never, never had a problem until recently, and that was when I'm actually started getting traffic to my sites. And when I started getting traffic, that's when the problems occurred. Basically. Uh, Internal server error 500 was one of the biggest, um, and their excuse for that error was the fact that the server was using too much RAM, too much uh, processor speed. I guess <laughs> it was it was a resource hog. It was it was hogging resources because I had so many people on the site at once. That was their reason for the site not working. Uh, and that, that posed is a big problem for me because when the site's down, it serves no purpose to me. It has to be up. I mean, obviously you make nothing if the site's down. Um, we, we learned to live with the 500 errors. We found that, um, you know, if we changed some things around and started caching our sites to load faster, it didn't really, uh, do it as often. So that was good. It minimized server load. That was good. And so we kept that. You know, made it do that from then on. We didn't have so much of an issue. But then we had another issue. <laughs> One Friday afternoon, just as this abuse department closed, they locked our websites down, all of our websites, for a possible hack attempt. Uh, and it wasn't until Monday until anybody was back in the office and we were offline for the whole weekend. And when they take us offline, it doesn't give an error. It just says error 404. And you actually are suspended on all of your domains, even the ones they don't host. As long as you register the domain with them, it's suspended as well. So you can't even put up an error page or forward the pages off somewhere else and say, hey, this is why we're down. You just an error 404. You're offline as if you're never there. So, that was annoying. Uh, so, it happened, and they found some files in the web post that apparently were sending out phishing emails. That is an actual possible issue. That's a threat. You know, that's something we need to fix. So, um, you know, that was something that, that had a reason it should have been fixed. But I don't feel like they should have locked us for the weekend and not looked at it until Monday. That was kind of wrong on their part. So that was annoying, and we didn't have a problem for about another month, and then a month later, which was about two weeks ago, on Friday, just as the abuse department was closing, you see a pattern here? Our sites were locked for a possible hack attempt. This time, uh, it was, uh, someone had uploaded a false chase bank login to our web host basically to steal people's chase bank information obviously anybody that's smart enough to be smart knows not to log into those but whatever especially if the link doesn't say chase bank on it i mean where are you going with that nowhere it's not like we host anything nowhere near chase bank or says bank in it at all we were locked on Friday, and just so happened Monday was a holiday, not really a national holiday because there was still school and everybody worked, but apparently one and one decided to take that day off. It was a holiday. So it wasn't until Tuesday, four days this time, that they would actually look at the site and find out what was wrong. When they fixed the files, they unlocked the site and let us go. Once again, horrible practice to lock us on a Friday just before you close so that nothing can be done until Tuesday. 
on Wednesday, we were locked again <laughs> for phishing emails, which you'd think that might have been caught on Tuesday when you were already there. <laughs> And yeah, okay, so we had a security flaw in our servers. We found out what it was. It was an outdated version of WordPress. Yeah, that had to have been fixed. That was a big issue. But you didn't tell us that. They actually said, oh, we can't tell you how they got into the site, but we can tell you that they got in and this is what they've put in. It's like, if you can tell us what they put in, you should have logs of how they got in. (laughs) So they lock us on Wednesday, but... Thursday morning before anybody ever woke up, they actually unlocked us. So we were actually impressed with the fact that we were down for less than 24 hours that particular time. Third time was the charm and we were out. So we ordered a new box. We're still in the process of moving all of our domains over because apparently one in one has a well-known issue that they will not allow you to export a large file from your website, such as a WordPress save, like an export XML or whatever. So we still can't get that off the site. That's kind of annoying, but whatever. That's that's pretty much a summary. I don't even have to give it a rating, do I? I, um, and this makes it even worse. I'm stuck in a two-year contract. The first of the two years is not even up yet. It won't be up until August, which locks me in until August of 2013. I have heard of a way to possibly get around this contract, basically trick the system into thinking I was never in a contract and then canceling. I have every intention to try this trick just as soon as we get all of our sites moved off. But my biggest worry is the fact that all of my sites is hosted with one and one not hosted, but they own, you know, I've registered the domain through them. I don't want to screw something up in the system and run up a big bill that I'm definitely not going to pay and then lose those domains because I have a negative account. So I have to come up with a plan to either move those domains to another host like GoDaddy or try it and see where it goes. I don't know. (laughs) Right now, spending $80 to re-register all of my domains with GoDaddy doesn't sound like a good idea to me. And the only ones expiring soon are the ones that I have no intentions to renew in the first place. So... It's almost like paying for two years in your first year. Guess that's what I get for registering for 99 cents. There was a reason for that, I guess. So, that's my rant, rave, review about one in one and why I don't use them anymore. Although, I still like to use them for domain registration. They're pretty cheap. They don't charge you an extra fee for private domain registration and that's something that I use on all of my sites so that's actually a very big benefit for me and in that case I would still recommend you to them but I don't recommend you to them for hosting their VPS prices are horrible yeah I've had their VPSs before and they ran pretty well and I had pretty much 100% uptime but the prices are horrible there are so many better prices out there so if you want a domain I will recommend one and one I have a link. It's called hosting.matthewserta.com. M-A-T-T-H-E-W-S-E-R-T-A. Um, but I wouldn't recommend them for hosting. And I wouldn't recommend them for servers, dedicated or VPS, because the prices are way too high. I know a good company. If you need something, hit me up. I probably have one I'll share with you for a price. <laughs> I actually do right now. I've got a uh, OctaCore. 16 gigs of RAM, dedicated server. I have one person on the box right now using half of everything on it. I need someone to take over the other half. (laughs) Yeah, so hit me up if anybody wants that. (laughs) Obviously for a fee. Anyways, that's uh, that's my deal with one-on-one right now. I'm done. I'm out. (laughs) As they say, say in Shark Tank, I'm out. So... I have moved to bigger and better hosting. We have two of my eight sites moved over now. My friend who hosts with me has one of his, I don't know, 12. He has a lot of sites. <laughs> so I'm going to let him do that. And then I'm going to go over here and play with one and one and tell him how I'm going to leave and see maybe they'll cancel my contract. I don't know. All right, guys. I'm gone. 
I'll see you guys later. I'm at exactly 10 minutes and 2 seconds. And that doesn't really matter anymore because I can go up as high as I want. I'll see you guys later.